Did you know that you can make your own close jar ecosphere that will probably outlive you? For this tutorial, I got everything I needed from a river in a forest. I found a fairly cool spot where I could get into the small stream. I started to collect some bigger stones, as well as smaller ones to put into the jar later. Besides this, I picked up some sand from the river and a bottle of water. Of course, we also need some plants for a sustainable ecosystem. I grabbed some plants that were growing in the water to make sure life inside my jar will have enough oxygen. A close look at the plants I grabbed already revealed a lot of life. To get started with the ecosphere, I grabbed a big jar and started to fill it with sand, water, and stones of different sizes, the plants I grabbed in the river. After placing everything in a way I liked, I filled that jar with the water from the river. I closed the jar and put it under a plant lamp to make sure we plants get light to be able to do photosynthesis. At first, the water was very cloudy, but after a few hours, the sand collected at the bottom and the water cleared up. As you can see in the time-lapse, the ecosystem looks pretty healthy, and there is a lot of movement and the bottom. A closer look shows that there are a bunch of worms and shrimps living in the ecosphere. If you take a closer look at the plants in time-lapse, you can see that they are photosynthesizing, as you can see from the small bubbles they produce. In the sand and the roots of some plants, every now and then, you can see some of the shrimps. Besides that, the time-lapse shows quite some growth of the plants inside. If you like the project, I can recommend setting up your own ecosphere jar. It's really easy and a lot of fun. After some days, I noticed that there is another living creature inside my ecosphere, a very little fish. He swims inside and eats some of the algae growing on the stones. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, don't forget to subscribe for the next project.